The technology is in place already being used in almost every aspect of our lives, but is AI moving too quickly? In an open letter, a group writes, the pace at which AI is developing now demands action. If the parties do not work together to move the artificial intelligence and data act forward before the summer, this summer, it will lead to considerable delays before we have a regulatory framework that guides businesses and protects Canadians. One of the people who signed this letter is world-renowned artificial intelligence expert and scientific director at Mila, the Quebec Artificial Intelligence Institute, Yeshua Bengio. Welcome to your morning. Hello. Hello. What are your concerns if AI is left without regulations and why the pressing timeline? So there's been an acceleration of uh, capabilities in AI in the last few months, as uh, many people have noted with the uh, arrival of ChatGPT and the latest uh, GPT-4. What uh, is special about these is that they uh, can be confused for humans. Uh, in other words, they pass what is called a Turing test. Uh, you can converse with one of these systems and you might not be able to say if you're talking to a human or to a machine. And uh, that changed the game in, in many ways. Um, it's coming much earlier than we thought. It could be used to destabilize democracy. Think about uh, cyber attacks, uh, trolls that are automated. Uh, personalized at a scale that we've never seen with human trolls, because you can scale AI as much as you want. Mm -hmm. So I think there are uh, urgency, and uh, even if we pass the law uh, this uh, this spring, there's still a lot of work to uh, iron out the legislation, which uh, I'm also going to push to be done as quickly as possible, at least for the um, concerns that are uh, in the short term. Let's dig into that act a little bit more, because I think most people didn't really start to feel concerned until somebody like Elon Musk tweets out that he thinks there should be regulations. And when a disruptor thinks there needs to be regulation, then people pay attention. The Artificial Intelligence and Data Act, or ADA, is part of Bill C-27, and that includes other acts to regulate the use of data, personal information. And if it's passed in its current form, it would spell out what is acceptable when it comes to developing and using high-impact AI systems, both by individuals and businesses. And it deals with the actions taken in the private sector. In your opinion, does ADA go far enough in regulating the use of AI as it stands? And what is high-impact AI? Well, that, that indeed needs to be defined. But the, the important uh, feature of this law, I mean, if it passes, is that it, uh, it is a principles-based law. And so it it leaves a lot of the details of the regulation um, to be uh, something that can be adapted. Uh, and that's important because technology is moving very fast. So it, we don't want to have something that's uh, very rigid, where we have strong definitions in the law, because uh, technology, I mean, what what is going to have high impact it is hard to define right now. Mm. And uh, also, what exactly should businesses do or not do is something that uh, should we should adapt as we see uh, new nefarious uses of these technologies. So it's, it's really important to have that kind of uh, flexible framework, which is actually, I think, better than the European one, which is uh, we've tried to like, bring in all these definitions and it's very big and clunky and actually is probably going to be worse for um, businesses and that the US might go in a similar direction for uh, political reasons that they would end up with a very rigid law. So I think in Canada we're moving uh, in the right direction in terms of making it uh, safer for the public and also more adaptive to technology as, as things change. You should and let me ask you really quickly. Um... You say this needs to be done before the summer and not wait until potentially 2025, which is how long it would take to come into place. If I were to give you a pen or send you a laptop and say, write out for me what would be the guidelines, what would you put in there? Well, one of the short-term things that I would like to see in the regulation that would be associated with law is um, forcing companies to display um, if they, you know, if you receive as a user, you receive a message or uh, you see an image or a video, is that for real? Is that coming from a human or a real recording? Mm. Or is that generated by a machine? Um, and in terms of protecting our democracy and uh, you know, for cyber frauds and so on, this would already be very useful. Uh, people need to know that there's some, you know, maybe uh, through a machine, 
uh, they're, they're, somebody is trying to influence them, maybe politically or for other reasons. I think that makes a lot of sense. Fascinating conversation. Thank you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.